Hey guys, in this video, I bring another EMS acronym you might not be familiar with. HEAVEN, or the HEAVEN criteria, is used by paramedics and EMS flight personnel to better predict difficult airways and possible intubation failure with both video and direct laryngoscopy. So let's get into it. HEAVEN was taught to me by my wife, who's currently a flight nurse, and my father-in-law, who's currently a flight paramedic. Heaven was studied over a two-year period for overall effectiveness. What was shown was that for the over 5,100 patients that received rapid sequence intubation, or RSI, from the flight team over a two-year period showed there was a 97% first-pass successful intubation rate. I'll make sure to link to the journal article in the description below so you guys can read it for yourself. By following the heaven criteria in all of your intubation settings, you'll increase your success rate, which in turn provides better oxygenation to your patient and lowers the risk of anoxic brain injuries. Now let's jump onto the computer and see what this criteria really says. All right, now that we're on the computer, I want to go over the actual heaven criteria. So heaven, I've already written it out here, stands for hypoxemia, extremis of size, anatomic disruption and or obstruction, vomit, blood, and fluid, exsanguination, and neck mobility or neuro neurogenic injury. What we need to be going over here is for each of these things that you are going to uh, assess, are we going to use DL or direct laryngoscopy or VL or video laryngoscopy? So are we going to use our blade and our manual approach or our video and the video blade approach, okay, to these, uh, to these different uh, issues that we might see. So if your patient is hypoxic, right, and you cannot, you've been trying to oxygenate them and you cannot uh, get that oxygen saturation up, your first attempt is going to be DL, solely because it's faster if you have a straightforward, you know, uh, normal intubation attempt. Okay. DL is faster. Okay. As long as your intubation attempt is completely and utterly straightforward. If you have any type of anatomic difficulty that you can see, uh, you are going to go to the VL. Okay. You're going to go to the video, uh, if you have, uh, anatomic, uh, difficulty. Okay. So next we're going to go to the extremis of size. Okay. Now, if you have a very, very large patient, okay, extremely large patient, you're going to go the video route and you're going to go out to in. Okay. So if you guys don't have, uh, you know, VL or, uh, maybe you don't have, uh, you know, the ability to see if your patient is, you know, extremely large. Maybe they're, they're pinned under a vehicle and you have to intubate just a head or something crazy like that. Um, you're going to, of course, use DL, but you're going to use the in to out woo, technique. Okay. If the patient is extremely small. So this is for large patients. Okay. So if you have small patients like peds, right, you're going to do a DL with a straight blade. Okay. So one of your, uh, Miller blades, I actually prefer a Miller blade. I know that's crazy. Um, I just love the way they work when I'm using uh, a DL type of uh, intubation attempt. I love them. All right, so moving on to the anatomic disruption and or obstructions. Okay, the first thing you're going to try here because you have some sort of anatomy change is you're going to try VL. Okay, and you're going to try that out to in. Okay, if again, you don't have VL or uh, maybe you just can't see all of the obstruction or something like that. Uh, you will try the direct. Okay. This is direct visualization and you'll do it in that 
in and out methodology okay now if the disruption is say blood you're not going to go to vl and you're going to go direct to uh direct solely because as soon as you put it in blood as soon as you put the video laryngoscope in blood well now you can't see anything so don't waste the time and use the video just go directly to the uh the manual direct laryngoscopy okay so with vomit, blood, and fluid, we're going to go just like we said. We're going to go right to the direct laryngoscope. You're going to be able to visualize the cords. Just remember, you're going to use a strong lift technique here. Okay? Get that jaw out of the way to open up the airway with a strong lift. I don't know if you guys know about it or use it, but with this, you could always use the salad technique. Uh, I'll do an in, I'll do an intubation salad video uh, one day, um, but you can use that technique to help you with this this fluid, blood, vomit, whatever it might be in inside the airway. Okay, so with exsanguination, okay, this is going to be your patient is bleeding out. You're trying to resuscitate them with fluids. Um, you don't have you may not carry blood products, and you're not being able to uh, put blood back into uh back into the body fast enough but you need to intubate okay this isn't so much blood in the airway this is blood exsanguinating from somewhere else on the body okay we are typically going to do a dl first why because it's faster okay if uh there's any type of uh anatomical you know difficulty uh, we're going to go to the VL, the, the video laryngoscope, okay? We want to make sure that we get that airway before they lose all their blood volume, okay? So with the neck mobility, say they're in a C collar or something like that, and you don't have the ability to take them out of that C collar, or you don't want to maneuver the neck too much, even if you do take them out of the C collar, or maybe they have some sort of neurogenic shock type injury, uh, we're going to use a VL, but we're going to do it in a extremely gentle fashion. So where we use the strong lift here in the vomit, blood, and fluid, we're going to use a very gentle technique because we don't want that neck to move. Heaven criteria is there to help you guys figure out if it's direct with the man manual laryngoscopy blades or the video laryngoscopy blades in preparing for your RSIs or your other intubation attempts so you're not futzing around in the airway trying to switch different tools, okay? This will help you guys set up for better first pass success rates. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video.